Cortisone injections are used by the millions today throughout the world. Primarily people who have inflammatory problems, primarily of the joints, tendons, and muscles are usually the candidates to where doctors are giving the cortisone injection. Cortisone is designed to help reduce inflammation. The issue with cortisone is that when it's used too often, it can lead to many, many problems in the body. When we talk about corticosteroids, corticosteroids is cortisone and prednisone, but this family of this type of medication are the types of medications that can cause lots of side effects in the body. Unfortunately, physicians do not spend the time to really educate the, the patient about the damaging effects it can cause, particularly for those who are diabetic. Diabetes is a very common epidemic in the world, but although people who are, are taking or who have cortisone or, or corticosteroids put in their body, this will raise the blood sugar tremendously and can lead to a lot of negative effects. Now for our purpose and our discussion, many of you have heard that cortisone weakens articular cartilage. It weakens ligaments, it weakens tendons, and it does. But my main concern are athletes, are those people who are the weekend warriors that are going out and playing tennis and golf and continually play and move and stress the body more than the body can handle. These corticosteroids, this cortisone that you're putting inside your body is an anti-inflammatory. You're taking the inflammation away so your body can repair. But repair is not instant. It's not an overnight type of thing. It's something that requires time. The biggest problem is that there's no rest. There's constant use. The reason why the body's producing inflammation is because there's injury. And the reason why the inflammation is being present is to prevent the injury from getting worse. But if we continue to excessively stress the area and not rest it, the injury is going to continue to worsen. Not only that, but the structures are going to continue to weaken until possible rupture can actually occur in the tendon or ligament. These corticosteroids inactivate vitamin D. It limits the calcium absorption by the gastrointestinal tract, and it increases the urinary excretion of this calcium as well. Many physicians don't realize that these corticosteroids also inhibit the release of growth hormone, which further decreases the soft tissue and bone repair, and ultimately, these corticosteroids lead to a decrease in bone, ligament, and tendon strength. Medical studies show that no more than two to four injections should be given a year, and that may even be too much in itself. All I'm telling you is to be safe. This is your body. Be careful. This is your health. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.